Well, it is official. The city of Cathedral City has designated Minerva Road as Candy Cane Lane. But how does this particular road become a holiday tradition? Our Manny the Movie Guy takes a walk down memory lane. Oh, the Griswolds. What's going on here? We could not be a member of the Griswolds family, but you too can enjoy your own family Christmas vacation in the desert. In the middle of the Coachella Valley, deep in the heart of Cathedral City, lies Minerva Road, also known as Candy Cane Lane. Each year after Thanksgiving and all through Christmas, this street becomes... a magical winter wonderland. Through the years of living in the valley, I've always been a fan of Candy Cane Lane, but I've always had the snagging questions. How did it get started? How long has it been going on? And most importantly, who pays for these massive electric bills? I walked down memory lane to find my answers. First stop, Lynn Malato, president and CEO of the Cathedral City Chamber of Commerce. What started out as a neighborhood tradition has grown into a valley tradition that has caught the attention. As far away as Orange County and Los Angeles and San Bernardino and Redlands, it's just been marvelous having this here in Cathedral City. The first Candy Cane Lane was held in 1987. John Elliott has been there since its inception. It didn't start right away. Uh, everybody was new and being your first uh, home for most of the people, we decided to put up some displays and I put a blow up uh, uh, Santa on the roof. And then we realized the neighbors were quite competitive and everybody wanted to do like a one-upsmanship. <laughs> So uh, the displays kind of grew. And they grew and grew and grew. But how did they get the name Candy Cane Lane? Uh, third or fourth year, uh, the neighbors all got together and say, we, we need to tie the street together because we had enough houses on the street by then. We uh, decided to make candy canes for every home. Now thousands of people flock to visit Candy Cane Lane. The people that live here know what goes on and they love it. It's that feeling of community that attracts home buyers. That's exactly what happened to homeowner Cara Van Dyke, who purchased their home on Minerva Road 15 years ago. Most of the people on the street decorate big time for Christmas and that it was kind of a tradition. And actually, that almost sold the house without us even seeing it. Cara and her husband, Ron, are quick to teach their kids the value of being involved in the community. Ron works tirelessly to put up the displays and their kids, Gracie and Ben, help. But the Van Dyke family also does something special each year. About 12 years ago, we started giving out free hot cocoa. That's right, drinking free hot cocoa amidst the fabulous lights display. Everyone loves Christmas, but it's candy cane trivia time. Let's settle some of the urban legends we've heard. First, does the whole community plan their displays collectively? There is no discussion, there's no planning, there's no everybody turn on the lights on December 10th or anything like that. It's just kind of, you just sort of know that that's part of what you do when you live on Minerva. What about some residents who choose not to participate? Do they get a naughty slip from Santa? Occasionally people don't decorate, but I think that it is just sort of an unwritten rule of living on Minerva that you should decorate. And the big one, walking or driving around Candy Cane Lane is free, but does the city of Cathedral City help pay their electric bill? Uh, that's not true. Edison doesn't pay for the electric bill. We don't have a big meeting to decide what you're going to have in your yard. And some visitors can be Scrooges. John almost stopped displaying Christmas cheer because... We had some stuffed animals that were taken from a, a circus train that we had in the front yard. And uh, we put out a reward and an article in the paper and we had a Pink Panther that was the engineer of that train. Then uh, we got a, a call. A little girl wanted to donate her identical Pink Panther back in our train. But all's well that ends well. John even received some awards from the city for his various displays. We received awards for Best on Minerva Road, uh, Best in Cathedral City, and I guess we were winning so many they stopped it. <laughs> so how long does it take to put up their display? Frozen is his chosen theme for this year. The whole yard is going to be all in the Frozen theme. This year you're going to be Olaf. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when I'm not working, yeah, I'll be, I'll be Olaf. <laughs> Did you tell your dad, come on, can I be Elsa? Oh, no, 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 I'm too short to be Elsa. And the Elliots are now ready 
to let it go. Let it go. Meanwhile, the Van Dykes are also getting into the Christmas spirit. What did you think when you saw all the lights are all done? I thought it was just beautiful and magnificent. I was like, yay, Christmas is here again. Ah, <laughs> the lights are on, the music is playing. Priceless is the faces on the kids and the singing and you know, yelling at the window, they see Santa, it's, it's perfect. You are the local Santa Claus here on Minerva Road. <laughs> <laughs> and voila, Christmas. In the desert, all you need is snow. I'm Manny the Movie Guy. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Merry, merry Christmas! <laughs> a merry little Christmas now. It's a wow. terrific place.